how to pull the probate list absolutely for free, step by step. What is up guys, Zach in here, and in today's video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to actually pull the probate list online absolutely for free in virtual wholesaling real estate. Actually pulling a probate list can either be really easy or really hard depending on your city, county, and state. And what I wanna to do today is just show you a complete tutorial on actually how to go out and pull the probates online so you can start pulling probate leads. Guys, probate leads are actually one of the best leads to be going after in virtual wholesaling real estate. And the best part about this list is it's super motivated. Now, the first question you might be asking me is, Zach, what is a probate? So according to most governments, a probate is the legal process through which a decedent's person estate is transferred properly to the designated heirs and beneficiaries and the payment of creditors for a loan. Pretty much what that means, it's the legal process of transferring ownership of assets when somebody passes away. For example, unfortunately, a person dies and they own a million dollar house. I personally can't claim ownership to that house because I'm not related to the person or I wasn't in their will. But most likely a son or daughter was put in a will or they are next of kin and they will be granted through the legal process that million dollar home. The point here is the government just can't take someone's property when they pass away, it'll go to somebody's family member because that is private property. And that's pretty much the legal process of it. The reason why it works so well and so good for wholesaling real estate is because there's a lot of motivation with probate properties. Most people care about the money from selling the property than the property themselves. Now hear me out here. Yes, I understand how delicate this process is and how emotional it is. But most people don't want to own a house when a family member passes away in it. They just want to get rid of it. And usually these properties need a ton of upkeep. They're run down. And a lot of people didn't live in those houses, so there's no emotional attachment to it. And some of them do have emotional attachment, but most of the time they just want to get rid of the property and just sell it. Now for 90% of these probate cases, they should be listed with a realtor and sold to the highest bidder because that is what the heir wants. But sometimes these sellers, I would say five to 10% of the time, just want to get rid of the property and doesn't want to deal with it and just wants a cash offer for it. And most of these situations, the property's run down, beaten, and it needs a lot of repairs. And this is where we can make a ton of money in wholesaling real estate. Now the average person wanting to sell a piece of property, I would say at most 1% of them wants to sell it for even a cash offer or below what the property's even worth just for the speed and convenience of the cash sale to get rid of the property. Now with a probate, that number jumps to three, four, even 5%, which makes a probate list three, to five times more likely to want to sell for a good wholesaling deal than the average motivated seller list. So this is why probates are so amazing. You can make really big spread, 30, 40, even $50,000. In virtual wholesaling real estate, a lot of these heirs live out of state. So I'm in Florida. A lot of older people move to Florida in their 60s, 70s, and 80s, and they buy a nice house here. And a lot of these sons and daughters and family members never lived in Florida, and they don't want to live in Florida. They don't want to deal with the property. They just want to get rid of it. And unfortunately, a lot of these properties, if somebody's 85, 90 years old, they're not taking care of the property. They're caring about the quality of life, which is the most important part, which means when the person unfortunately passes away, the house needs a lot of upkeep. It's not updated. There's probably some bad issues going on with the property, which makes it perfect because if I live in Pennsylvania and the heir lives in Colorado and the house is in Florida, the seller doesn't really care where I live because it's a virtual wholesaling deal. And this makes it easier to do e-signatures, e-signing services, and overall just closing the virtual wholesaling process versus another list. So this is why probates are so important for wholesaling real estate and especially on the virtual wholesaling side. So you might be watching watching this video like, Zach, how do I do probates? How do I pull this list? This is an amazing list. And the truth is, yes, it is an amazing list. So let's get into actually how to pull it absolutely for free online. So when somebody passes away, you have to go through the probate process, which is usually facilitated from the courts for the county. So this might seem pretty simple, but the county clerk of the court and the public records, and usually the probate court, is where you're gonna get the information of these transactions. So the heirs usually file a court motion to get the probate process going so they get the property. So all you really gotta do is go to the clerk of the court for the county, pull the probate probate cases, look at the decedent, which is the person that passed away, and either you can send mail to that address, you can find the personal representative or the heirs to the property, get their information, and then cold call them, see if they want to sell the property. You can text blast them. There's a lot of ways to do it, but this is all stuff you can pull absolutely for free online. There are over 3,000 counties in the United States, and every county's probate is run differently. Some of them are a tad different. Some of them you just can't pull the probate record online. You have to call and request for the information or do a Freedom of Information Act request to get this information. But on the other hand, you can just pull it online absolutely like this in under a couple minutes and get the probate list. So they're all a little different. So if you can't find the probate list, I recommend you call your county's clerk of the court website and they can direct you on how to do this. But for a lot of counties, it's actually easy to pull it online. So let's get behind the computer and start pulling the probate list so I can show you. So as you can see here, we are in Cumberland County, Maine. Now every single county is a little different when it comes
comes to this. So for Cumberland County, Maine, the probate you can actually pull on the real property records. So let's go in and actually pull this list. So let's go here on the date and let's just do for the past month. Just do that one. And then all I'm going to do is, is go by advanced and then scroll down to probate, which I'm looking here, probate. Am I getting anything on here? No, we're just going to keep it to search all towns. I'm going to click search and then we're going to see what pops up here. And what's going to pop up here are all the probate records. Uh, so I do it by date. So let's just go by file date for the newest one. And then you get all this information here. So pretty much how it works is it looks like in the town of Scarborough, there was a probate, got the book and page number. So I'm just going to click view image. And basically what pops up here when I'm looking online is this is a probate docket. So it looks like Jean M. Delano is the decedent that passed away. And if you go all the way to the bottom here, the PR or the personal representative, which is gonna be the heir, that's actually the person we wanna contact, is actually the personal representative on this case. So we can see here that James D. Delano, at 54 Wedgwood Drive, that is their personal address. So this is a great probate case right here. So we're gonna be contacting the estate of Jean M. Delano, but really what we're gonna do is contact James D. Delano and contact him. And this website actually makes it really easy to see the property address in question. So I'm just gonna click the View Details tab, and I can see a James D. Delano and then a Jean Delano. And you see how the grantor is gonna be Jean Delano? That's the person that passed away. Now the grantees are gonna be the heirs. So it looks like there's three heirs in the property, most likely siblings, James D. Delano, Joseph Delano, and then Mark Delano. So let's just contact James D. Delano. So click his information here. So I clicked here to Gene M. Delano and I'm looking for a deed on the property. So it looks like there's a deed from 1999, which is most likely the property. So it looks like there's a mortgage right here recorded for Gene. If I make that a little bigger, I can see that the property address here was 12 Millbrook Road, which is different than what the personal representative's address is. That is gonna be their own property address. The other deed was for a corporation, and this is the property that they own. And then I can see here there's more deeds to more properties. So this person must own multiple properties, so this seems like a good deal to be going after. I would go contact the PR and go after that probate lead, and there's hundreds of these you can pull every single month. The point here, guys, is there's a lot of counties and cities that actually you can pull the probate just like that. If you go online, start going to your local county property appraiser website, you're going to be able to find deals like this and you can start pulling them online absolutely for free. Now, the last question I always get is that once I get this lead, what do I do with it? I personally recommend you put it in a, a Google Sheets format or a Microsoft Excel format. Start organizing the data, get the phone numbers and start calling them. Now, if you want to learn how to cold call probates the right way, I do recommend you go to freewholesaling.com, my free real estate wholesaling course where I'll teach you everything from A to Z, the entire wholesaling real estate process. From there, I'll just cold call them and call them and see if that person wants to sell that piece of real estate. So I'll call the PR and see if they want to sell the decedent property's address. I'm not calling them saying, hey, I saw somebody died, I'm looking to buy that house. I'm trying to be as respectful as possible and just see if they have any properties, specifically that one they're looking to sell because we're assuming they're the owner. Now, if they don't want to sell it, no big deal, but if they do, maybe we can do a deal there and we can make money and help sell her out with their property. Guys, that is how you pull probate leads in virtual wholesaling real estate so you can start finding more deals, making a ton of money and helping your motivated sellers out. Guys, if you've got any value from this video, do me a big favor. Make sure you smash the like button, subscribe, go to freewholesaling.com my free real estate wholesaling course, and I'll see you guys soon. Have a blessed one.